Okay, hi, welcome back. We're in part two. Let's go. All right, starting with Beautiful Night. God, Chaotic was so good. I'm still not over that, but. Oh. Ooh. Sing to me, Shono. Okay, I will. There Minya goes again with that little run at the end, that little just, what's it called? It's that R&B just finish to his phrases that he does that gets me every time. What was the last time it got me? Oh, he did it in, um, It's Alright. And it killed me every single time. He's so good at it. It's over? Oh my god. I was enjoying that one so much I didn't realize it was over. Which is... I didn't realize I was enjoying it that much, but I was. They were speaking so sweet to me! Why are they so sweet? <laughs> love it. Love that song. Maybe my second, if we're not counting Fantasia, it might be chaotic and then that one so far. Okay. It ain't over. Oh, that was so good. It ain't over. Oh? Unstable. You do what? Why are they being so 
sweetly possessive in this album. Like, God, I get it, okay? I'm not going anywhere. You can? Why do I feel like they're putting this line, especially here, makes me really think, even if I lose everything, if you're at the end of this maze, ain't over until it's over. Why do I feel like, since this is a comeback album, after, you know, a while, after a lot that had happened to them, why do I feel like now I'm thinking, are there subliminal messages in this album? Obviously, the choice to make this a party club album was very intentional. As in, like, we're celebrating. We're just going to do happy fun this time. Like, we're, you know, that kind of thing. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Okay, so I really like that song, actually. Like I said, the lyrics could apply to partying. The lyrics could apply to their fans. They could apply to a relationship. Who knows what it's about? But at the end of the day, it is a club banger. And just a good song in general. And we're back to these pictures, which... Please, guys, please. Juhan's lips are so luscious. Okay, okay, let me let me stop. Stand up. Oh? Okay. Right. So it seems that my suspicions were correct. This whole album is making so much sense. It's like flute sound? I don't know what it is. Why do we have these sad lyrics with this like 
vacation vlog sounding song. Like, I'm trying to have a good time, just bop my head, but like, <laughs> the lyrics are kind of sad. I get it, I get it. And I'm so proud of you. Oh my god, I can, I can only imagine if they came back after their break and performed this song live. It would make me so emotional. I can't imagine how happy the fandom was when they came back with this album. Like this... My heart! Oh my god. Sing together. Like I said, I can only imagine what it felt like hearing this album and finally getting to this point with them where they seem, you know, okay and and like they're recovering from everything that had happened, especially Juan and seeing him again. Now, I don't know what the situation was like when he was on hiatus. I don't know how much of a hiatus he, he was on. You know, some idols go on hiatus and you still hear from them like every now and then, but some of them go on hiatus and you don't hear from them for like a year, like at all. So I'm not sure what the situation was like, but I can only assume this was just a big party when this album came out. Then also, I do remember somebody said that Gasoline was originally supposed to be on this album, but it got put on the Fatal Love album instead, which if that's the case and I'm, and I'm remembering that correctly, it honestly, I think they made the right call with that just because that song, the vibe is not as dance and party it's got this same vibe to it. It's just not as upbeat and dancey, if that makes sense. And I really feel like they wanted this to be that album. They didn't want any songs to bring down the tempo. So as good as Gasoline is, I'm glad they kept it and they put it on Fatal Love. Yeah, this was so much fun. Thank you guys for hanging out. As always, if you were around during that era, please comment what it was like. I love to hear, you know, people who've actually been through the eras and what they experienced with it. And just let me know anything else I need to know about this album. Um, that would be greatly appreciated. Yeah. Thank you guys for hanging out and I will see you guys in my next one. Okay. Bye.